What uh, what does a post Jason Cabinda linebacker room look like? Uh, you know, guys like Cam Brown and Cole Farmer stepping up. Those guys who have a lot of snaps under their you know under their belts right now. And then obviously have Micah Parsons coming in. They're going to try him out at Mike linebacker. Um, you know, Ellis Brooks, a young Ellis Brooks, who I think has a lot of characteristics that can translate to that Mike linebacker position. He's a hard worker, so really excited for him. And then Jane Johnson as well. And I think he's a sleeper in the room. Uh, you know, as you see, when he gets in, he has a, he has a nose for the ball. You always find some stuff around the ball. He's a physical guy. I think he's a guy who could also make an impact. Yeah. Do you have a relationship with Micah at all? Like, do you know him? Uh, not much. You know, I've obviously been around him from a recruiting aspect, but besides that, you know, not too much. But I do know he's a, you know, he's a confident guy, a guy who's, you know, confident in his abilities. He's a very skilled player. You know, he has a unique skill set, so I think he can he can do a lot for us. Do, do you have any idea, though, about, like, that transition from a guy who plays defensive end at, at the high school level to, to the responsibilities of being a Mike linebacker? Like, yeah, I mean, I think when you're a DN in high school, a lot of times it's just like, go get it. You know, right. go get the ball, kind of just go and, yeah. you know, line back you have responsibilities and jobs since I mean I played you know some DN you know in high school as well so I kind of know you know how that's like and I didn't really play linebacker really till I got here so I do know what that's like uh, it'll, be, it'll be a tough transition uh, just making sure he's not doing too much or trying to be you know just got to stay you know within the defense and kind of what the defense is asking me to do so you guys uh, obviously I've been asking <coughs> mostly the older guys about this but five minutes remaining please in Penn State okay. media day to, to be back here, to be in a New Year's Six twice in a row, um, obviously when you started your career at Penn State, it was in a, a very different stage. From, right. From, you know, like, so can, can you just kind of contextualize, like, the difference between the climb to, to get to this point and being able to sustain it for those next guys as they kind of move forward? Yeah, you know, it's, it's a lot of work, obviously. You know, we've overcome a lot, overcome a lot of adversity. Um, you know, our character's been tested so many times. Um, but, you know, now it's just going to be sustaining it. It's going to be about the little things, you know, doing the little things the right way, you know, carrying on the work ethic of these guys, the senior class. I mean, you know, there's so much to learn from these guys who are, you know, up here on this on these podiums, you know, and I think, you know, for them it's just going to be about just carrying the torch just, have, just as we did, you know, when we were freshmen and first came in. Yeah. So it's just about learning about the, learning from the older guys and, you know, older guys continuing to take young guys under their wing and just allowing that cycle to continually repeat. Do, do you feel feel like this this team and this program still has a little bit of a chip on the shoulder and do you do you feel like those next guys the guys that are freshmen right now or sophomores right now do you think they understand that like do you think they'll be able to keep a chip on their shoulder uh yeah i mean absolutely it's, it's tough it's obviously different for them you know they didn't they didn't go through that rise and that climb and those those adverse games where we were losing games that we felt like we really should have won and things like that um yeah. but you know for them i mean they know you know they know the history they know kind of what we've been through you know through these four years and they know that the, the first two years of my career compared to these last two years were, were very different. Um, yeah. So I think that they, they'll be appreciative of that and kind of make sure that they, they do their best. I think for, for fans, like, watching from the outside, they're back in Pennsylvania right now, and they see you guys, you know, goofing around and, and the, you know, the charity thing yesterday. Right. And, like, there's a lot of opportunity to have some fun for you guys. Right. But you're also dialed in for a football game. Yeah. How do you, how do you guys kind of navigate that balance between, you know, enjoying all that this has to offer and winning a football game? Yeah, well, I mean, there's, there's always a time to, there's a time to have fun and there's a time to work. Um, you know, obviously doing stuff like charity, I mean, we love, we have a lot of guys who just love kids. I mean, we, we really love kids and, and you know, we, we really have a good feel of what kind of impact we can have, you know, on those kids' lives, whether it's taking an hour out of their, out of our days to play with them or to play kickball, you know, whatever the case may be. So I think we're, we have a lot of personality too, a lot of characters who are able to take on those roles and, and do a good job with things like that. So. And, and Brennan was just saying, like, how much he wants to win this game oh, just yeah. after last year's Rose Bowl. Like, Absolutely. Is that, is that kind of the defining? Oh, 100%. You know, that, that Rose Bowl taste is kind of still in our mouth. This is an opportunity to, to kind of make up for it, you know, to send these guys out on the right, the right way and on the right note. So, cool. That's great.